everything 100 years of junk food starting with? America versus Australia. Australia. This is disgusting, man. Lime cheese jello tuna salad with mayonnaise in the middle. This is grandma's ultimate prank, man. America is looking rough right now for the 20s, guys. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> that is not good. That is really good, but we have to see how it compares to Australia. So let's start with just the first thing, which is an Aussie meat pie with tomato sauce. That sounds delicious. Mouth-watering must sticks. You like that? No. Uh, Cheddar yeah. cheese sticks with Vegemite. <laughs> oh wait, those are cheese? <laughs> I think that the cheese actually cuts through like the saltiness of the Vegemite. I hate Australia. Now we can decide where these countries go. We're gonna be going down in the C category. I gotta say it's uh, probably a little worse than American piece of Vegemite. Stop eating it. The 1930s. America versus Sweden. 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 What's the difference? I don't know. Yeah, I'd love to go over this food with you guys actually. It's a uh, dandelion salad. But you know what's even more depressing than the salad is the fact that they were giving out candy cigarettes. It's candy. It's right? a sugar stick. It's the hot water pie, otherwise known as the depression pie. Huh? Oh God, I feel more depressed. This will cheer you up. Yeah. <laughs> Are the petals edible? The flower tastes <laughs> better than the leaf. US looking so rough right now, Sweden, you need to pull it back up. This is sem similar. This looks so much better. The almond cream's the best part. And the next thing is scrum de grill, having flour and fika. <laughs> Is it good? It's actually pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it looks really good. That looks bomb. Wait, Swedish fish from Sweden? Uh, no, I mean, it says it's made in Turkey. Wait, fish are from yes. Turkey? <laughs> and then we can't forget our next side, which is... Samiaki. Oh, is it black licorice? Oh, it's salty licorice, apparently. <laughs> Whatever you thought it was going to taste like, again, 10 times worse. Dude, we know who was better That's here. That's easy. America. Sweet. How? You like this? Salmaki. You like this? You had the salmaki. You liked this, this, this poop pie? Better than the salmonaki? You, you're endorsing... Candy cigarettes? Yeah. No. Nice. Wow. And the great thing is I get to change my ranking. A? Because it was better than Sweden. 1940s. America. Versus the UK. And we got to have America be on top. We are back to back I'm, world world champions. I'm rooting for America because it looks like someone's spitting hey, yo, what Homemade the? bologna cake. From the outside, it looks like actual cake, right? You think this looks like cake? <gasps> Dude, that, that's straight up bologna. That's fine, because we got 7-Up and milk, so I get 7 milk? You mix the chilled 7-Up and cold milk into equal parts. This is atrocious looking, man. Oh, wow. What? Whoa. Oh, 7-Up is on to something. It's like a milk seltzer. America, proving why you're the back-to-back -back champions. Going for three. Oh, my god. <laughs> uh, wanna try this with me? No. Now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, it's Hello. not good, obviously. All right, put that on the flag. All right, come all right. on, the UK cannot be this. I can pronounce all this, they I know it. Marmite biscuits, just, just I mean, a nice little biscuit. Ooh. Oh, oh no. That's not like wait, a wait. British version of Vegemite, wait, is Marmite, it? Marmite, Vegemite, these are definitely step cousins. Bro, <laughs> no, no. This is definitely like, like step cousin removed twice, maybe. Preston, apparently this is everything we've eaten in the video so far in a stew. I'm salivating for the wrong reasons. It's warm. Actually, cat food, which is the same thing as British food. Last but not least. No, so I think we're done. I think we have to. No, we have to try the Marmite biscuits. Oh, dude, I'm so not excited for this. I, 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 ooh, ooh. Preston, I would rather watch your 2018 content. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, man. Yeah, US staying in the A. That's why it's called the USA. The 1950s, America, and Ireland. Dog, who touched my spaghetti? Yo, I think a lot of people touch that spaghetti. I want to eat this junk. No. I pitched this idea because I thought we'd be eating this, not eating this. None of it is sweet. It's mustard, it's bananas, and it's cheese and butter. That's it's clickbait. I, I'm, get, I'm calling I'm calling in sick tomorrow. That's really good. Two out of 10. No, nine out of 10. No, no, no. no. No, we do have the pixie sticks. Oh, this is like this is the only junk food we've pretty much had so far. That's true. Yeah, no, this is the most like modern junk food. Mm, I'm pretty sure I saw Walter White make this. Jesse, we have to cook pixie sticks. We haven't even made it to the main dish. Okay, get the get your Vienna sauce and dip it in there. It's actually wiener freezing. shouldn't be this cold. Oh my, Atlanta. Uh, Imagine the texture of a wiener in your mouth, but no flavor. But good thing Ireland is coming in clutch. What is this wartime supper salad loaf? 
What is the bottom made out of? I, is that a meat? I don't know what that is. It looks like peas and, and cabbage. Oh, I do see the peas. Oh. Yo. What? That's good. That blew my mind, dog. The presentation, what are you doing? But the taste is amazing. We do have the Irish goody, which is straight up boiled bread with spices in a... No! You can't just call it a, go a goody and expect it to be good. No, it tastes like bread pudding. That is, that, that's actually, that's good. good. <laughs> All right, Ireland, you got one. <laughs> Yo, it looks like Eloise was here. America going all the way back, dude. All the way back down. Ireland, okay, C for surprising. The 1960s. 1960s. USA. USSR. People went to space, and the food reflected that. So why are there meatballs? Huh? <laughs> you have to have the balls to go to space. Wow, whole ball. Those are good balls in my mouth. It just tastes like balls. Kind of like bad barbecue. Oh, that too. Astronaut ice cream. The kids were so pumped about space and they're like, oh, I can't wait to try the astronaut food. I don't feel that way. We ruined a perfectly good chocolate cake and made it sauerkraut. It was invented by lunch ladies as a cost cutting measure. Like, let me help you with the costs. There we go. Yeah, keep that out. Right? Like, there you go. Like, isn't it more to add the sauerkraut? Well, you didn't get icing. Was, Icing's the worst part of cake. Worse. You take that back. Icing's the worst part. The bread's the best part. Put the well, icing on the... Bread's the best part. That's not very icing on you. It was so good until the kraut came in. Ah, all right, but now it's time for astronaut food. Yeah, that is S-tier junk food. No, it is not. Yes, it is. It's so bad. Like, imagine chalk with medicine. That's what this is. Those are good. Get into your food. All right, time for Mother Russia. It's not Mother start. Russia, Mother USSR. They're from Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing, Texas burger astronaut space food. Wait, this is a burger in a tube? Not just any burger, a Texas burger. I like that they gave us the description, but it's all in Russian. <laughs> I don't know how to read this. <laughs> he was doing Candy bar made from bulls blood. Bulls what? Look at this packaging. It looks really fun, festive, nice and bright. But then it's made with bulls blood. <laughs> Yo. Whoa. It doesn't smell like blood. That's good. No, it's not. It's so healthy for you, though. We're not eating healthy I food. I give it a six Preston, out of ten. Okay, look, look at the video we're in. Read the title for us. Read the title. And then we can't forget, not short chips, not wide chips. No. We got long, long chips. chips. We better open this up, and it better be a full chip. I want long. a long dong. <laughs> <laughs> that oh is a chip. Oh, my God. Can you eat the whole? <laughs> wow, that That's not bad. good. What? <laughs> oh, it's very <laughs> conflicting. Try this one, try this yeah, one. Yeah, the crab one is not. It's a sweet onion. Oh, wow, not bad. It's fun. And finally, the burger paste. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the God's green earth? It has like a reminiscent of a burger that's been out for days in the sun. All right, confirmed. Russia has no idea what a burger tastes like. <laughs> I don't think that America can beat Sweden, but it definitely can tie it. 100% we're tied with Sweden now. I'm gonna give it a D. The U.S. is close to getting the A tier. I just hope they have something in store for us for the 1970s. 70s. USA? With turkey. <laughs> Talk to us about the U.S. in the 70s. The shrimp aspic. Mayo. Mayonnaise and shrimp? Oh, it's hard. Oh, my. Wait, slap that thing. Oh, my God. You told me to slap it. Not on the white stuff. What's up? Yeah, keep on talking. We finally have a junk food staple. We got Skittles. Oh, oh that might be S tier. <laughs> it's okay. Look at this. Skittles. Huh? Diver Demon. Skittles are the best candy. Yeah, but I don't even taste the rainbow. <laughs> Dude, but this is awful. We're back with the spaghetti. Wait, that's my coffee mug. <laughs> they put it in a mug for lunch. And look at this. Don't waste this. Oh, I thought it was going to pour out really nice. I'm so sorry. We finally get warm SpaghettiOs and you just pour it out. I thought it was going to be in the gelatin. I got to eat the SpaghettiOs off the tray. Oh man, they taste so much better when you're a kid. And not in low form. Two out of ten. I'm gonna go anywhere but here. Oh come on, 70, nothing bad happened in the 70s. Uh, uh. <laughs> and then, what is that? The Smiling Dolphin, a viral kid's treat in the 70s. That looks demonic. Oh, this is a nightmare fuel. Do you like just, don't Oh God, what is that? Tomato and banana don't go together. That is absolutely vile. The shrimp aspic is gonna save us or it's gonna kill us. Can you cut it? Oh. Did you hear that? I don't like how he's just sticking out like that. Just eat it. Get, oh my God, it's so disgusting. This is genuinely the worst thing I've put in my mouth. I hope you're ready for your early Thanksgiving because we're serving turkey. We have a Islak burger, a wet burger. If you try to pick it up, it's so wet. We lost the other half of the bun. Oh, I feel so dirty. Wait, I'm pretty good. Can you turn around real quick? Yeah, yeah, sure. Guys, go to fire merch.
Excellent napkins. I'm gonna that slide. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna lose my job. And then we have first side is the sweet chicken pudding, which I thought it was ice cream, but apparently it's pudding. That's really good. That's kind of bussy. Passes the jiggle test. You could also play with it like a ball. Huh, huh, hi. Oh. Why did you open your hands? <laughs> hey, he did that to himself. <laughs> so not only it tastes delicious, but it can be used as a football. Next item is the Turkish Delight, which is popular street confection. It is dusty. Let's try some confections. Yes. Yuck. Yes. No. All right, and the last drink, Boza. One of the first drinks in humanity. Like the first drink of humanity ever? It just never went away. This is 1,000 years old. 9,000, bro. This it's is over 9,000 9, years old. Vegeta clocked in. Give it a little sip. Hey, no, it can't be that bad. Like, why would they invent a drink that's worse than water? I feel like we should know what we just ingested. It tastes like sour batteries. I was really hoping to give turkey a good rating. How has nothing come close to A yet? Let's act like I didn't just drink that, but everything else? Are you gonna put that in an A? Oh, no pressure. We need something bigger than A. We only go up to an A. Oh, yeah? Check this out. <laughs> this is the S tier. Oh, let me just. <laughs> it's it's strong. All right, the S tier. Wait, you don't agree? Where does US go? See, see you later. <laughs> the, the 1980s, 1980s. USA, Philippines. This is junk food, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Shit. Let's go. You had pizza? No, not just any pizza. No. Granola and licorice. There's so many better choices for a dessert pizza. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were eating this? Okay, well now you say that, I'm interested. I lost all my respect. Now this is a junk food. What's Chippers, this? which is the chocolate covered oh. potato chips. Two of the most unhealthy things combined in one. Finally, we're to the junk. You don't think these look delicious? Steven, come on. You have everything you want in these, Steven. It's sweet, it's salty. He likes it. He loved it. He right. liked he it. He liked it. I told you. The 80s got junk food. Cheeseburger in a can. It feel like it's been it's in a can. Stiff. For a can burger, it's not bad. It's not great. We're going to put that back in the can. Oh, and the ultimate road trip pea bottle Whoa. snap. What's the hype about the snap? It's not good. I don't care how much you guys pay me. I'm not drinking it this. It is better than the bozo <laughs> drink I drank in Turkey, OK? Hey, careful. That's the drink of humanity. Oh, Screw right. humanity. Finally, dude, the I... licorice granola pizza. OK, you have to get the black licorice in the bite. It takes a little bit, but the black licorice just starts manifesting in your mouth. Hold no. It. Yep, I'm going to agree with that right there. We just act like this didn't happen. Yep, yep. The US was so close to an S tier, but then you had a black licorice granola pizza. No, at least you're better than a C now. I'm breaking the mold. Whoa, hey, he's already? going back in, dude. Yes. USA! Hey, hey, hey. Now see what the Philippines got. So what is this? Balut. It's street food from leftover duck eggs. Now, why are these leftover? Eggs are not supposed to be leftover. I'm going to butcher these names. The Jolly Bee. Spaghetti. The number one fast food location in the Philippines. It tastes like there's a lot of sugar in there. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's good. <laughs> now, the next thing, the Jack and Jill chicken skin ni mang Juan. That's actually a crazy name. It's basically just fried chicken skin snap. Oh my god. Oh, oh my oh. dude! All right, Jack and Jill. Let's taste it. Wow. Not bad. That's pretty good. Very unique. The next thing we got is the... Why do we get all the tough ones? Rubisco <laughs> Fuji Baru Macacuno. It's invented in a Filipino bakery and became a beloved treat. And dude, it's full of cream. I'm excited to try this. I don't taste any cream. Dude. Where the cream at though? It's clickbait. It's so creamy. That is really good. Crack it open, dude. Did not mine just yet. move? I went to reach for it and you saw it move. What? That's not. You ever seen that in an egg? Oh! I smell that. Oh. Maybe it looks better in the middle. I'm not ready for what's about to open. <gasps> it's not. It's not. Do it for your third largest demographic. It smells like death, but it doesn't taste like death. The egg white tastes like gelatin. That is surprisingly not that bad. Last but not least, fuco juice, which is agua de coco con pulpa. It's, it's coconut water. How can you not love coconut water? Well, that's pulpy. Really? Pulp. Ew. Oh, I didn't expect coconut that. pulp hits different. Now, go ahead and anger our fourth largest demographic. Let's make that into the third largest. I'm giving you a B. Hey, no. it's, it's backwards. It's backwards. <laughs> Gotta set it out. Philippines, you got some good nice. stuff cooking. I appreciate it. The 90s US could come for Turkey. The, the 1990s. 1990s. USA. South Korea. We got a whole Ooh, kid cuisine. Yes. Every 90s kid's dream food. What is this? Dinosaur poop. Well, what else does the U.S. have? The Flaming Hot Cheetos. Yo. And there's this conspiracy that the janitor there invented it. I want the hot fries. Oh! That's fire. All right, what's next, P? Um, I like this one. It's just called the fruit string thing. And hey, we're trying to be healthy. I don't know, man. It looks kind of weird. Much? Fruit sticks going to have to go so hard right now. They are delicious. And wait a second. Crystal Pepsi. Crystal Pepsi. I've never tried this before, and I'm pumped. Huh? Is this water? I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just Pepsi. I'm, I'm not a fan of Pepsi, Preston. All right, we're going to put the crystal away. I really want to try the kid cuisine. Why do dinosaur nuggets taste 
better. What is this, dude? It's like chocolate pudding. <gasps> and I always got the chocolate brownie. And That's it even comes cool. complete. It looks like frosted pretzels. Oh, it's yogurt. The best thing about this, Dino Nuggies, America staying at the A. Listen, leave it to an American to talk all about America. Let's talk about South Korea. Which then brings us to the Korean short legs, which is dried <laughs> squid tentacles. Dude, this is gonna bring you down. A Korean corn dog? It was inspired by the American corn dog, but I promise you what's inside there is not inspiring. Take a bite where you can expose the middle. There's no wiener? No, there's no wiener. The Koreans took the wiener out and put cheese in instead. That, it's not bad. It could be a lot better. Now we have the Korean court cake. Whoa, it's it is hot. Huh? Hard as a rock. Also known as the dragon's beard. Well, I'm gonna crack this in the middle. Whoa, look at this oh, that's shred. Sick. Let's get it. It tastes like cotton candy, but peanut flavor. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Say that drink. Name Saki. I'm gonna stick with Sikai. It's a drink traditionally drank by the rural regions of South Korea. And it's rice. It's good. This thing is all rice? It is not all rice. All right, last but hopefully not least, the dried Korean short legs. Short legs. I can't chew it. Do you suck on it? It's like sweet, but savory, but not in the right way. I give us a rating. Me, no America, uh, unfortunately, wasn't able to climb to the S tier, but maybe Korea, South Korea. Korea was close from uh, getting to that B, but after the tentacles, it kind of sucks. It's C. I'm sorry, I Korea. I'm on, baby. Oh. We're heading into the 2000s. 2000s. USA, China. Let's go ahead and hop into the most obvious thing from the 2000s. Ooh, oh. We were combining all sorts of junk food, and we decided to put bacon on our cupcakes. Do you fit that in your mouth? I don't know, dude. Like, it's gargantuan. Right, come on, stop. Let me get teasing. It's too sweet. I think it's too savory. Can we not agree on anything in this video? I did love this. From Burger King, you had the chicken, chicken fries. Chicken fries, yes. It's just, That's so good. It's just chicken and fry force. And then we had this one. This was the most infuriating one. The oh. SpongeBob ice cream popsicle that you could only get when you would hear this iconic sound. I love that sound. Nice. We've opened up over 200 of these in one video and never got the perfect one. Is it perfect? No. Oh it doesn't God. even have eyes. Wait, flip it. Oh. Are, Are you ready, ready kids? Take a bite. That is a good popsicle, man. And I'm tired of acting like it's not. And we also have Celsius, by the way, which was invented in 2004. Crack Wait, it's been around since 04? Yeah, not this flavor, though. This is the new flavor. What does it taste like? Well, we got the Galaxy Vibe flavor. Who's it taste good? Is what? it out of this world? Good. Really? It's really good. Oh, that's really good. Thank you. Save that for later, okay? What is the Wonder Ball? So kids were choking <gasps> on it. Now um, we got, um, what? Here we go. He's about to panic. We need another ball. Oh. Dude, every egg is broken. Is it good? Dog! Wait, wait, wait. No way. <gasps> yes! Let me crack that ball! It's milk chocolate. Let's start with this shell. Oh, that's good. So not only it tastes great, Preston, but there's also a mystery box. I can't do it. I cannot be putting America down. What about yet. Celsius? Celsius is fantastic. But the Wonder Ball and the Cupcake, it's an A. You're not gonna give a Celsius an S tier rating? Now you're gonna get the brand deal partnership pulled out. <laughs> now we're in China, guys, all right? We got, wait, is that a typo? Stinky tofu. And it's because it's supposedly reminiscent of feet. Steven, can we get your foot real quick? Oh, dog. This is my dirty shoes, too. Oh, tofu smell way better. We have Amos mango peelers. Oh, peelable candy? Oh, that's sick. How do you peel a gummy? I have no idea. I don't Did know you peel it's it? peelable. Wait, you can peel it. Oh, you can? I'm serious. I don't. No, come on. That is the best candy we've had in this video. This right here, this is S tier candy. We have the Hawflix. A uh, prevalent fruit in China turned into candy. Hawthorn. Can I see what a Hawthorn looks like? Oh. Okay. Wait, it's a bunch of wafers stacked on top of each other. Yo, this is what my church passes out. It's not as good as the peelers, but it's yums. Wang Loji, a popular Chinese tea, especially for sick people. Well, dude, you're pretty sick. Craig, <laughs> it tastes like a sweet green tea. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's fantastic. Okay, let's jump into the entree, which is the... Ah, dude, tofu. I'm excited for this. Open up. Well, I taste how it smells. Each bite is getting worse. <laughs> let's just tofu later. <laughs> even break the plate. From an S to the B. Nice. What? Is there. Will you move America, please? Bro, we're moving America. All right, good. Right back to the A category. That doesn't make sense. 2010. America looking like it's S tier right now. In India? Let's talk about America. Look at package. <laughs> what, what is a is... ketchup and mustard cake? Obviously mustard in the icing, but does that mean ketchup's in the center? I really hope not. Let's open it up. What? It smells like carrot cake. That is so good. Is there actually ketchup and mustard in this? <laughs> You don't taste it at all. The rainbow okay. bagels, they just turned everything into rainbow. I mean, let's see if it tastes like the rainbow. That was a crusty bagel. <laughs> now this is looking like a sweet treat. The unicorn frappuccino. How's the unicorn taste? Wow, that is fire. 
That is delicious. Wait, that's good. And now, then, what is this? Charcoal activated ice cream? Charcoal's supposed to help you absorb bad things that you put in your body, so they decided to put it inside ice of cream? ice cream. Like, look at this. If this is actually good, America moving to the S tier. Really? It all depends on the activated charcoal you ice promise? cream. Promise. All right, I'm in it. Whoa, what? <laughs> Please tell me it's good, because if it's not good, that's going to be real bad. Oh my gosh! It's sweet, but not too sweet. Whoa. Unreal. And I said, if every single no. food except for one was good, you're doing it? We're going to put it back at the house. Get it. Oh, I got it. Oh, it. Oh, it. Oh, it. Suck it, turkey. Woo. Huh? There can only be one S tier. Wait, wait, wait. You have that power press? Good friends oh, no, no, the no, no, Prime no, no, Minister. Oh, you almost ripped it. All right. I think we got a heart transplant. What? Our uh, mango pickle. I'd say that for later. I don't know if I want to. All right. Let's try these, uh, these little uh, sesame. Candies. All right, open up your open up your hands. Yeah, give me a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, Thank you. Much? Whoa, whoa, whoa! How much did he say? But perfect. Wait, that's yummy. Yeah. Yeah. What? It had a good beginning taste, but the ending taste sucked. You don't like the ending? No. It's crunchy so open and up your sweet. Mouth. Okay, see, it's a good beginning taste. Yeah, beginning good. And then let it linger. <laughs> see, ah, see? I don't know. I think it's good. No, see? It's it's bad. Bad. No, no. The Amira Tamarind candy. That's not bad. Where's the tamperin? Oh, there it is. <laughs> wow, this is fantastic. It's really good. This is the best lozenge we've had the entire video. Okay, this is dude, dude. cola. <laughs> Coke and Coke milk. And milk. I, I would rather just drink Coke or milk by itself. Why combine it? Dog, this I is think pickle we just mango. opened something that we should have opened. Dude, that is a visual nobody wanted to see. <laughs> oh my, this is all you, dog. You love pickles. No way is it that bad. I can't keep it in my mouth. It's really good. Where'd the mango? That was unholy. Where's the mango? We need a priest in here. Where oh. is the mango? <laughs> you just trashed. 2020s. This is huge. America basically has to defend its spot as S tier against Japan. Japan. Are you scared? I'm a little scared. Okay. Japan has some phenomenal food. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Plant-based tomato jerky? Does it smell good? Oh, gosh. You got the texture right. F, ooh, biggest F of my life. We have Feastables, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Hey, Feastables. I do like you can see the peanut butter inside of it. Classic milk chocolate with peanut. Mm -hmm. But what about the freaking yes. Cheeto yes. Mac, yes. buddy? Yes. I tell you by first. That's my new favorite mac and cheese. That is, that is hot. Tier. The okay. moment I've been waiting for, dog. Glazed donut burger. You hear the crescendo? That's not bad. I hear the angels of heaven. Oh, that is amazing. We only had one you, bad thing. You can just put on the. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Japan food. So let's start with American style pizza. The Italians are crying. So I'm going to go in after you. I'll take a bite. There we go. <laughs> Why do you got a tarnished pizza? Oh, man, that was bad. That brings us to Jibachi Senbi. Wait. Is it now you gotta figure out which one jibachi is. Okay, so apparently they're wasp? wasp crackers. Why would you eat a wasp? Do you see this whole wasp? And then we have Kiniko, tiny seasoned crab. Oh! So they are they're broken. Stanky. Oh, let's see the eyeballs. Ooh. Dude, I kind of like it. I like this. Oh, I'm glad you guys. I'm glad. I like this. Well, good thing you're not ranking it. Oh, chocolate covered shrimp chips. No! What? Looks like a caterpillar covered in chocolate. Wait. Oh, it's like a Kit Kat bar from the sea. I'll be honest though, you don't taste any shrimp. I'm giving it an S. Ramune. I close, Ramune. Ramune! Now this one is really fun. Take this, put it on top, okay. and then just smack it down. I'm gonna hit it like it's the uh, the subscribe button. Ready? You know you like it. Oh! It's gonna taste good? It's good. It's just a good classic soda. Dr. Pepper's better than that. Oh yeah, I mean this is blue blurry it's flavor. Bl <laughs> blue blurry. <laughs> but the frickin' the wasp. This wasp cracker can determine if Japan gets an S and dethrone the US. It looks more like a dragonfly. I don't taste the wasp. Yeah, it's actually, it's not bad. I give it an A. This is anime toilet candy. What the heck is Wait, this? Wait, you put the candy in the toilet. That's so much work. There's stickers and everything. All right, here we go. Go in here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Didn't make it nice. in the toilet. There we go. One more. I never do. <laughs> Now we mix it, dude. Now we literally. What just is this it. about to make? Whoa, whoa, it's rising like oh, yeast. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Do me the honors, my guy. What is it? 
it tastes very similar to like soda. Yeah, no, what's, what's, um, oh, sweet tarts. Sweet tarts. The moment you've been waiting for is USA the king of junk food after an entire century. Three, two, two one. one. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. B. B. What? The American pizza took it from an S, oh, then it moved all the way down to a B. Also, click one of these videos if you want to see 100 years of uh, fast food or 100 years of school food. <laughs> I was supposed to be all legal. <laughs>